so there's a squirrel in this box. The squirrel's not with the box yet. The box has depth. The squirrel's not anywhere up there. It's got to be right in here. So I'm going to have Megan hold this bag at the entrance. I'm going to poke this thing with the stick. It's going to come flying out the entrance. She's going to catch in this bag, and then I'll show you all about the squirrel. Squirrels are fluffy, squirrels are cute, but in reality, this thing is basically a tree rat, okay? These guys are rodents. Now look, you see those teeth? If I did not grab this thing just like I am right now, it would, I mean, it could really do some damage with those teeth. And lots of exterminators of these guys have gotten bit, and it is not fun when you get bit by a squirrel. But it's not just the teeth you have to worry about. Do you see these, the feet? Now the feet are made for climbing. You can see it has these hook-shaped claws and these feet are just very, very, like, long. The toes are very long. A lot of people don't know that. And, you, I mean, you can just see how sharp those claws are. And they, those are what gives it the ability to climb trees. And it looks like a monster close up. I bet most of you guys haven't seen that before. That, these, these guys could do some damage. I have been scratched by squirrels before trying to catch them. But I've never actually caught one. Nor have I ever been bit, which is good. Now this guy knows that his claws are sharp and he's trying to use them right now. Now the tail obviously right now is soaking wet and it's not very fluffy, but the reason they have these fluffy tails is to act as a counterbalance. So when they're in the trees, they can use their tail to help balance out their front end and to help climb more efficiently. Now I really can't give you guys a full body look at this guy just to preserve the safety of the animal and myself. If I took a bite from this, uh, I could be taking a trip to the hospital as well which would definitely not be very good for me or the squirrel because they'd have to get sent in to see if it's rabid. These guys are also extremely important to the ecosystem because they provide prey for lots of different organisms. We're out here in a swamp right now where something like a hawk or an owl would probably be preying on this guy. So squirrels are one of the most important rodents in the ecosystem. Obviously they eat nuts and things like acorns. And a hawk or an owl would love to get their hands on one of these guys. And, you know, squirrels, they're a nuisance, yes, but they're also important to the ecosystem, providing energy for lots of different predators. Now, squirrels are an our selected species, meaning that they reproduce multiple times. They produce lots of offspring, but not a lot of offspring make it to adulthood. A baby squirrel is a lot more vulnerable than an adult because they really don't have balance yet, and they don't know the way of the trees. These guys are masters of the canopy. They can evade most predators that come after them. Now, a hawk or an owl will still get to one, or maybe even a fox if they're on the ground, but when they're on a tree, a squirrel is pretty unmatched down here in the central North Carolina ecosystem. So a young one like this has just survived from his juvenile stages. He probably was born in this nest right here. Now, the reason I removed the squirrel is because these, these boxes are not made for squirrels. These are made for birds. So really, we don't want these in there at all because squirrels have plenty, plenty, plenty of numbers in these ecosystems. All right, now I'm gonna put this thing back. I would try not to get mauled by him because he would love to destroy me. I mean, he could get those teeth around me and he could really do some damage. But what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put him back. You got a good focus? I'm just gonna put him back like this. I'm just gonna let him go and see what he does. All right, one, two, three. Not on me. Go, go, go. Thank you all so much for watching that video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something about the squirrel. Make sure to subscribe right now for new wildlife content coming out every Thursday morning. And I have a feeling we might be seeing a lot more snakes in the coming weeks. This is the Wild Report, signing out.